Hey everyone, welcome to the top 10 list. Welcome to my top 10 favorite Tomb Raider video games. I wore this shirt for a reason. I love Tomb Raider. Laura Croft, one of my favorite video game characters, one of my favorite uh, franchises in video games. Grew up with Tomb Raider, loved Tomb Raider. Thought it'd be a cool idea to get my top 10 favorite Tomb Raider games. There's a lot of great Tomb Raider games. Uh, there's so many. I haven't even played a lot of them because there's a lot of Tomb Raider games for the Game Boy, and I really didn't have a Game Boy ever. I never played Game Boy, so a lot of Tomb Raider games I missed out. Some for the PC I missed out on, but all the Tomb Raiders that came out for the PlayStation, PS2, PS3, PS4, I played pretty much all of them, and I don't think I've ever hated a Tomb Raider. I've thought some Tomb Raiders were kind of mediocre, but nothing I've hated. Tomb Raider's a consistently great game franchise. And I thought I'd get my top 10 favorite Tomb Raider games, so let's get to it. Coming at number 10 is Lara Croft Relic Run. This is a short game. This is only, like, maybe a three-hour game. Basically, you're just going through, like, tombs and realms and mazes and finding all the relics to, you know, that's really it. That's all this game is. And it's not, like, a story-based game. It's nothing like this profound game with Lara Croft being a great character or anything. It is literally just a fun puzzle game. If you like a good, fun puzzle game, this is for you. I love, like, a good puzzle game that I actually can solve the puzzles. And Relic Run is one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites is my number nine, Lara Croft Go. I platinumed this game on the PS4. Took me a couple hours. Uh, it took me a couple days, but I only did, like, 20 minutes a day because I had a lot of shit to do. A lot of games I had to do. That's my shit. <laughs> But Lara Croft Go is really cool. It's just it's a lot of just movements and the way you move, the monsters move with you. You have to. It's all pattern puzzle based games. It's if you can follow the patterns and the orders, you can beat the game rel relatively fast. Again, if you like a good puzzle game, Lara Croft Go is for you. I, I enjoyed it. I I got Hitman Go. I haven't played it yet, but I like kind of games like that, so I really enjoyed Lara Croft Go. Number eight is uh, Tomb Raider Chronicles. Tomb Raider Chronicles is was a PS2 game, a really cool game. This is uh, one of the first uh, Tomb Raider games for the PlayStation 2. Really great. Had a new look and style for Lara Croft, and it was awesome. You have to play as Lara Croft on a motorcycle. That's fucking badass, right? And I just really enjoyed it. It was a uh, it was a game that's not very well known, but for Tomb Raider fans, this is a very well liked game, and I think it's a terrific game. Number seven is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider is one of the newer. Uh, there's three new Tomb Raider games for the PS4. Well, new. Uh, um, Rise of the Tomb Raider was the second one. And I think it's the weakest out of the three new Tomb Raiders. I like the first half. When you're in the snow and the mountains with Elijah. You know, tracking these like terrorists down stuff. Uh, the tombs are cool. The challenges are cool. Hunting the animals and getting the weapons are fucking awesome. The second half gets a little dull at times, and I think the last boss is kind of underwhelming. You're just fighting him in a helicopter, and you blow it up, and that's it. And it was a little anticlimactic, but the game is so beautiful to look at, and Lara Croft is such a badass that I still really enjoy it. But out of the, the newer ones, it's definitely the weakest one. Number six is Tomb Raider 2013. This, is the, this was the game that brought Tomb Raider back. It was for PS3 slash PS4. Great game. Very good game. Uh, the hunting is cool. The story, it's a solo Laura Croft game. It's basically Laura Croft trying to rescue her friends. They're all kidnapped by these terrorists, and you have no idea what kind of horrible things they're going to be doing to these people. And Laura Croft has to save them all. And it's really cool. It's really awesome. The mechanics are great. The visuals are great. This was the first Tomb Raider game that was imprimatur. It was the first Tomb Raider game that had like swearing and blood and just fucking crazy shit, and it was awesome, and we were all in for it, and we all wanted it, and yeah, it was great. Number five is Tomb Raider Anniversary. Tomb Raider An Anniversary was the uh, sequel to Legend, and um, it's very good. It's a PS2 slash PS3 game. Uh, very cool visuals, really cool story. The tombs are too easy. I think that's the only issue. It's a, it's a little easy... It's almost like a toddler built some of these mazes and tombs and puzzles. But other than that, the story's cool. The side characters are cool. The action's awesome. Very, very straightforward. And just a good Tomb Raider game. Number four is Tomb Raider 3 for the PS1. This was, I think, 1998. Uh, a, lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people have problems with the graphics because they were very pixelated. And 
I think they're classic. I think it's a timeless. I, I love classic Tomb Raider and classic Lara Croft. Some people don't like it. The you know, like the she's got like the the diamond boobs because the <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Uh, it's very dated, but I, I I think it's nostalgically dated and it's great. And Tomb Raider three is what was one of my favorites. Number three was Tomb Raider two though. Tomb Raider two was a little bit better than number three. Uh, Tomb Raider 2 brought in, like, the, the jaguars and the bears and the crazy stuff you could hunt in the tombs and the animals and stuff. It made the game a lot more interesting. It was like Laura Croft versus Mother Nature. It was pretty fucking wild, and I enjoyed it. It was really great. Uh, number 2 was Tomb Raider Legend. I wanted to put this at number 1, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is my number one where I'm like neck and neck. Tomb Raider Legend was like the brought back for Tomb Raider. Just it was like right during the PS3 era. And a wicked game. Great visuals. Still holds up to this day. Absolutely incredible. Fucking awesome villain. Cool Lara Croft. Everything about this, mo this movie. This game works. Just brilliant. However, number one is the one I'm wearing. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I have a steel book for this game. Probably one of the most greediest Tomb Raiders I've played. It's fucking nuts, this game. It's bloody, it's grotesque, it's terrifying some moments. There's some scary shit in this fucking game. God damn. Uh, the, her and Elijah are great characters. They're a great duo. The villain is hard to beat. And I love that you have to like help these like native tribes and they believe like this demon thing is like haunting them and you don't know whether it's a myth or if it's real and stuff. It's very, it's kind of cool. It's very creative. I, just, I, I think this is a cool game and I think it's one of the best Tomb Raiders. It's my personal favorite. So yeah, that was very quickly my top 10 favorite Tomb Raider games. So in the comments section below, please tell me, did you agree with this top 10 list? If not, give me guys top 10 favorite Tomb Raider games and your guys' opinion. Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the duck side.